the Honda Pilot has been refreshed for the 2023 model year. And this three row SUV has great new looks, a strong V6 and a fresh 10 speed automatic gearbox. You can opt for room for seven or eight, go basic or fancy, and there's even a new Pilot for those who like to take to the dusty trails. So which one is the right one for you? Let's walk through them all and find out. All 2023 Pilot models are powered by the same 3.5 liter V6 engine. It produces 285 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque and can deliver an EPA estimated 27 miles per gallon out on the highway. Most trims come standard with front-wheel drive, but all-wheel drive is an option across the lineup, and all-wheel drive models can tow as much as 5,000 pounds. We kick things off with the 2023 Honda Pilot LX. This one arrives standard with room for eight. The seats are cloth, and both front seats are manually adjustable. Both the second and third rows can fold flat if needed. You have a seven speaker sound system, which you can control via the seven inch center touchscreen. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard and require a wired connection. You also have push button start, power doors, and auto up down for the front and second row windows. On the outside, the LX has LED headlights and taillights, matte black side mirrors, and 18 inch alloy wheels. The starting price of the 2023 Honda Pilot LX is $37,645 for the front wheel drive model or $39,745 if you prefer all wheel drive. Next up is the Pilot Sport. On the outside, this one gets a sharper look thanks to the 20 inch wheels, the roof rails, and the LED fog lights. Inside, you get heated front seats, a power adjustable driver's seat, and more safety features with the inclusion of the blind spot information system. The steering wheel is wrapped in leather as well. The starting price of the 2023 Pilot Sport is $40,845 for front-wheel drive or $42,945 for all-wheel drive. Next we have the Pilot EXL, and when you see a Honda trim with an L listed that typically means you have leather on the inside, and that's exactly what we've got here. The wheels drop back down to 18 inches, but you gain a power tailgate and parking sensors. Even better, you climb to the nicer 9-inch center display. This also upgrades the CarPlay and Android Auto connection to wireless, and the audio system gains two more speakers to bring it up to a nine speaker setup. Finally, that front driver's seat gains memory to retain positions. On this trim, you can opt for captain's chairs in the second row instead of the bench. This drops seating capacity to seven, but makes it easier to get in and out of that third row. It's a $300 upgrade if you want the captain's chairs. The starting price of the Pilot EXL with front wheel drive it's $43,645. If you want the all-wheel drive version, it starts at $45,745. Next, we have the Pilot Touring. This one is fancy, but not the fanciest one. Now you get a panoramic moonroof, 20-inch alloy wheels, hands-free access on the power tailgate, and the second row is unique in that it has a bench, but the center section is removable and stowable in the rear. Additionally, the audio system is upgraded once again to a Bose premium sound system. The starting price of the Pilot Touring with front wheel drive is $48,145. The Pilot Touring with all wheel drive is $50,245. We're now moving on to the off-road focused version, the Pilot Trail Sport. This is a fun model that's only offered with all wheel drive. It also gets 18 inch trail sport wheels with all terrain tires. The suspension is tuned for off-road adventure. You have a trail watch camera system to keep an eye on what's around you. And there's a set of skid plates to protect the underside of the vehicle. You do lose that stowable center seat as the trail sport is seven passenger only, but you also gain an additional driving mode, a one inch suspension lift and hill descent control. It's definitely a fun model in the family lineup and it's not cheap with a starting price of $50,045. Finally, we climb to the fancy Pilot Elite. With this model, you gain a head up display. The gauge cluster is now a 10.2 inch digital display. The front seats add ventilation while the second row is heated. This moves back to the stowable center section for the interior configuration as well. It's a nice looking pilot inside and out, and it should be since it starts at 53,725. So with all of these pilot models, which one should you get? If I were shopping personally, I'd want the Trail Sport for the added off-road capability, but not everyone needs or wants that. So the real smart choice here is with the Pilot EXL. This level allows you to choose if you want captain's chairs in the second row, while also delivering the nicer center screen wireless device mirroring, the power tailgate, and the parking sensors. And the EXL keeps you in the lower to middle half of the $40,000 range, 
which these days is almost a bargain, sadly. Regardless, the Pilot is a great option in this segment, and you should get the EXL.